Welcome back to my channel. I have been researching into whether the claims from Dr. Stephen Greer could be correct and if there is a possibility of a false flag UFO invasion about to be orchestrated by world governments or the money men that hold the power behind governments. My research has taken me back some years to the 1950s and onward to the present day and I have come to the conclusion that a false flag alien invasion may be a possibility and even in the latter stages of preparation. What is a false flag operation? Put simply a false flag operation is described as the following. Covered operations that are designed to deceive in such a way that activities appear as though they are being carried out by individual entities, groups, or nations other than those who actually planned and executed them. One of the most famous is Operation Northwoods. The proposed, but never executed, 1962 Operation Northwoods plot by the U.S. Department of Defense for a war with Cuba involved scenarios such as fabricating the hijacking or shooting down of passenger and military planes. Sinking a U.S. ship in the vicinity of Cuba. Burning crops, sinking a boat filled with Cuban refugees, attacks by alleged Cuban infiltrators inside the United States, and harassment of U.S. aircraft and shipping and the destruction of aerial drones by aircraft disguised as Cuban MiGs. These actions would be blamed on Cuba, and would be a pretext for an invasion of Cuba and the overthrow of Fidel Castro's communist government. While I believe the phenomenon of UFOs is real and are the constructions of extraterrestrial life, they are now the prime target to be used in a false flag operation. The document on your screen is a declassified CIA document discussing UFOs and within contains information that the Office of Scientific Intelligence planned and conducted a UFO hoax on January 30, 1953 over Malibu to test the reliability and reaction of the public to UFO phenomena. While this was not a false flag operation as such, it demonstrates that the U.S. government had the means in the 1950s to conduct such an operation and fool the public. The testing of the public is continuing and in the last two weeks there has been false missile alerts in Hawaii and Japan causing great fear and dread among the populations. How are these false missile warnings happening so often, it is not sheer coincidence that two happen in quick succession in two different countries among completely different cultures. These false missile alerts have clearly been designed to test how people from different areas around the globe react to the threat of incoming hostile actions. The false missile warnings are coming just weeks after the now famous Pentagon UFO videos which show US pilots chasing and intercepting UFOs. Lots of people were skeptical about these videos and the motives behind release and I believe the U.S. government is now engaged in a popularization of the UFO subject rather than denying it but keeping one step away from full disclosure in order to keep the public interested but wary. In the first two weeks of 2018 there has been many clear UFO sightings across the world and the sightings continue to increase at an alarming rate. Maybe alien races are aware of the plans of the world governments and don't want this false flag operation to go ahead. Whatever happens I'm sure we will all find out soon. Before I go, mark February 2nd, 2018 in your diary and visit the new channel, Open Line Studio on YouTube. Hosted by Tim, where he will be taking all your calls and listening to your stories about anything paranormal related. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like and show your support by subscribing.